want to be recorded, turn your camera off. Good tip. Okay. Over to you. Thank you, Gria. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Hi. It's, it's Hi. weird having the uh, session on a Friday. So I get used to the first days now, but it's lovely to see you all. And let's start with our relaxation. So sitting nice and comfortably on your chair. And we always start the relaxation, the yoga with a relaxation. And we also do our gratitude. So let's close our eyes. You don't have to close your eyes if you don't want to. You can just look down towards the floor if you want. And start to notice your breath. So you might be able to hear your breath. You might be able to feel your breath. Just notice if it's loud or soft. Notice which parts of your body move as you breathe. And see if you can really find some stillness. So see if you can be nice and still inside your body and outside your body. And now let's take three deep breaths. So when we breathe for these three deep breaths, what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in deeply. And then we're going to sigh out the exhalation like this. So we're going to take a big sigh, okay? So breathe in through your nose. Ah, out through your mouth. And again, breathe in through your nose. Ah, one more time. Ah, well done. And now let's start relaxing our body. So relaxing your head. Relaxing your face, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your hands and your fingers. Relaxing your back, your chest and your tummy. Relaxing your hips and your pelvis. Relaxing your bottom, your legs, your ankles and your feet. Relaxing your toes. Relaxing your whole body. And just notice if you have any tension or stress or anxiety. Just observe it, just notice it. Don't try and change it, don't try and push it away. Just notice how you're feeling. It's like you're giving your feelings a stage, a platform, so that you can feel them. And then you can let them go. Let's start to wriggle our fingers and wriggle our toes. And then stretch. If you want, you could yawn. <sighs> stretch from side to side. Awesome. Well done, everyone. Bring your arms all the way down, hands onto your lap. Let's move our shoulders around in big circles. And then our arms. Awesome, well done. And then bring your hands onto your lap. And we're going to bring our chin down and then move our chin to one side. Bring your chin back down and move it over to the other side. One more time, chin down to one side. Chin down and over to the other side, well done. And then bring your head back to the center. Let's tap our toes onto the floor. 
Let's bring one knee in. If you want to, you can move that foot around in a circle. Awesome, and let's bring the other knee in and let's move that foot around. And then bring that leg down. And we're gonna bring our hands together and bring our fingers together. So we're interlacing our fingers and let's move our hands around in a circle. Awesome. Let's see if we can reach them up and move them around in a circle. And move in the opposite direction. Bring your arms all the way back down. Keep your fingers together. And we're going to, it's like we're stirring a big pot. So we're going to reach the arms forward and we're going to lean forward. And then we're going to bring the arms back and lean back. Like you're stirring a great big pot. And I think it would be really awesome if we do some gratitude so we can stir that pot of lovely gratitude. What are you grateful for today? So I'll say some of the things that I'm grateful for and I'm gonna stir that lovely gratitude in the pot. I am grateful for you guys. I'm grateful that I have such a lovely job where I meet so many wonderful people. I'm really grateful for my home, that I've got a home that's keeping me dry and warm. I'm grateful that I've got lovely warm clothes on my body and that I've got a lovely family. And that's just a few. So what are you grateful for? Let's go around in the opposite direction. What are you stirring? What gratitude are you stirring up today in your big pot of gratitude? And whilst you stir that pot of gratitude, you can feel thankful and feel grateful for it. Let's let those feelings rise up. Well done. Good stirring, guys. Keep going a little bit more. Awesome. And then we're going to shake the hands up. Shake, 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 shake. Let's shake the arms above the head like we're raining happiness over our bodies. And then bring your hands back down to your lap. Well done. Let's squeeze our shoulders up to our ears. Squeeze them, squeeze them tightly. And just relax them down. Awesome. Squeeze our shoulders up to our ears. And relax them down. Well done. One more time. Squeeze our shoulders up to our ears. Are you all right, Alex? And then relax them down. Okay. And now we're going to bring our hands onto our laps. I'll show you from the side. So we're going to round our back. So we're going to do the seated cat stretch and then we're going to lift up through the front, lift the chin, breathe out and breathe in. Keep going. Awesome, everyone. Don't stop. And moving slowly so we're not moving too fast. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Well done, everyone. Keep going. A few more. Let's do two more. One. Keep this up, everyone. Two. Awesome. Well done, everyone. Okay, let's stand up. I think we'll do a balance pose in a minute, but before we do that, we're going to bring our hands onto our hips and we're going to make a big circle with our hips. We'll swim that around in the opposite direction. And now let's bring our legs together. Now for this one, you can lean up against something. You can hold on to something or somebody. 
And we're going to do, see if you can guess what we're going to do. We're going to do a tree pose. So you can either bring one foot onto the other foot, or you can move that foot up the leg. You can either go to the bottom half of the leg, or you can come all the way up to the top. And if you want, if you can find that balance, I'm a little bit wobbly today. My balance isn't that great today. You can bring your hands together. Whoa, or you can bring your arms up so that you've got like the branches of the tree. I'm going to bring one arm up and hold on to something. Awesome, well done. Great balance, everyone. And sometimes, like for me today, balance isn't that good for me today. I'm not very balanced, but that's okay. Just have to be patient and you have to be kind to yourself. That's so important. And then tomorrow my balance might be better. We're going to bring the arms down. Let's do the other leg. So give the legs a shake. Just remember what leg you put up. And we're going to do the other side. Ready? I'm going to try again. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm still wobbly. I'm like a tree in the wind today. That's it. So you can hold on to something or someone. Good, Alexandra. Good, Wendy. Keep this up, everyone. Awesome. Ruby, you balancing? And then bring your arm down and leg down. Let's give the legs a shake. Let's give the arms a shake. Awesome. And now we're going to stretch over to one side. And then we're going to come back to the center. Let's stretch over to the other side. And come back to the center. And again, over. And back to the center. Good stretching, everyone. Well done. And then back to the center. Let's do one more time each side. Back to the center. And we come to the other side. We come back to the center. So we're going to do a, the warrior pose today. So we're going to bring the legs out wide. We're going to bend one knee. And we're going to bring the arms out to the side. So we do the full warrior pose. So imagine that you've got a bow and an arrow. And I think it'll be nice with our bow and arrow, we're going to spread love around the world like Cupid, like the cherry Cupid. So we're going to pull that bow back and then ping that arrow, stretch the arms out and spread that love around the world. Awesome, should we do that again? Let's take hold of that imaginary bow and arrow, pull it back and bing. Awesome, one more time. And then we'll do the other side. Pull that bow and arrow back and bing. Awesome, well done. So bring the arms down. Now we're gonna bend the other knee, bring the arms up. And we're going to bring the arm forward, pull that bow and arrow back, and bing. Let's spread some happiness into the world with our arrow now. And again, pull it back, bing. One more time. And think of all those people that are feeling our energy of love and happiness. Bring your arms down, well done. Let's give the arms and the legs a shake. And now we're gonna bring our hands back onto our hips. And now we're gonna move our upper body around in a circle. So when you come to one side and come down, you can bend your knees and then come all the way up. And you can make this small or you can make it big, but I want you to move slowly. So don't move too fast and make sure that you've got space so you're not gonna bump into anyone or anything. 
Awesome, keep going. Around in a circle. And let's change direction. Awesome, and back to the center. And now let's do, should we do our power move? Love the power move because it makes me feel really energized. Okay, so if you want to turn your sound on so we can do it all together, and you can do this sitting down if you want as well. When you're ready, yeah. cool. Wow. Wow. Awesome, and again, one more time. Make this a big one, okay? Take a few deep breaths, and I want you to feel really strong and powerful. Awesome, everyone. Standing nice and tall, your shoulders are back, your head is high. And taking deep breaths. Feel like you can achieve anything in this moment, that nothing will get in your way, nothing will stop you. You're strong and confident. Awesome. Well done, everyone. Let's give those legs a shake again. And then we're going to come to the back of the chair, stretch the back out. Let's do, we've done our power pose. Let's do our superhero pose, shall we? So we're going to come into our half forward bend. Your feet are hip width apart. And see if you can lift one leg up. You can bend the knee if you want to. It doesn't have to be straight. You can lift it a little bit. You can lift it a lot. It's up to you. And let's bring that leg down and let's bring the other leg up. Awesome. Well done. And then bring that leg down. Now still holding onto your chair. You're going to bring one knee up. I'll move my hand so that you can see my knee coming up. Now you can lift that knee a little, lift it a lot. And then come down. And you don't need to hold onto the chair. If you want to, you can just bring your hands onto your hips. Or you can hold one hip and bring one hand onto the chair. Brilliant. Bring your leg down. Bring your hands onto your hips and we're going to twist one side and the other side. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Keep going. We're doing so well. Shall we now bring our hands onto our shoulders and move? Awesome. And now bring your hands onto your ribs and move. Good job, everyone. And now come back to the center. So we're going to do it slightly different now. We're going to bring our hands together so we can interlace our fingers. And it's kind of like you're playing tennis. So you're doing a backhand. So you're going to bring one. So we're going to bring the hands to one side and then back around to the front and to the other side. So it's like you're getting ready to do a backhand. 
with your tennis, your imagine te imaginary tennis racket. Move to one side. To the other side. Do one more. Awesome. And now we're going to come back down onto our chair. So we're going to do another stretch with the arms. So it's the same kind of stretch, but this time we're going to have the arms and the hands separate. So I'm going to bring the arms over to one side and then over to the other side. Kind of like the Usain Bolt dab. Do you know the Usain Bolt dab from the Olympics a few years ago? Awesome. Keep going. Nearly there. Ah, and bring your arms down. Well done. So let's just have a moment to rest. So if you want, you can rest your head into your hands or you can just bring your arms onto your legs. Just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Well done, everyone. So we're going to stretch your arms out. You know what's coming next. We're going to wrap our arms. Yes, well done, Alex. We're going to wrap our arms around ourselves. We're going to give ourselves a great big hug. hug. Yes, great big hug. One of my favorite stretches. And then bring your arms out again. Stretch them nice and wide and then wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a great big hug. One more time, big wide arms, wrap your arms around yourself. This time I want you to pat yourself on the back and say, well done for all that you've done today. Give yourself a pat on the back. Awesome. And now you're gonna bring your hands onto your shoulders and then slide your, uh, your hands down to your elbows and back up again. This is a really nice movement to do. If you're feeling anxious or scared or worried or sad, if you do this, it really helps to soothe you and to calm you. It's a really, really good strategy. And you just bring your hands, you can either just move down to your elbows from your shoulders or you can move up and down and it sends signals from your brain to your body to tell you it's okay, it's all right, everything's gonna be all right. Awesome, and bring your hands onto your lap, well done. And we always finish our yoga session with relaxation, and we're gonna do some gratitude as well. So let's sit nice and comfortably. If you want to, you can lie down on a sofa, or you can put a mat or a blanket on the floor and you can lie on the floor. I want you to be nice and comfortable. And close your eyes or you can look down towards your knees. Just listen to your breath and just think of two things that you're grateful for. What are you grateful for today? Now relax in your head. Your head is relaxed. Relax in your face. Your face is relaxed. Relax in your neck. Your neck is relaxed. Relax in your shoulders. Your shoulders are relaxed. Relax in your arms. Your arms are relaxed. Relax in your hands and your fingers. Your hands and your fingers are relaxed. 
relaxing your chest and your tummy. Your chest and your tummy are relaxed. Relaxing your back. Your back is relaxed. Relaxing your hips. Your hips are relaxed. Relaxing your legs. Your legs are relaxed. Relaxing your ankle and your feet and your toes. Your ankle, your feet and your toes are relaxed. Relaxing your whole body. Your whole body is totally and completely and wonderfully relaxed. And once again, I want you to notice your breath. Just notice if it's fast or slow, if it's long or short, is it loud or soft? And now we're going to wiggle our fingers and our toes. And we're going to stretch. And we're going to bring our hands onto our lap and let's do a lovely om together so if you want to you can unmute your sound we're going to do three oms okay so when you get to the end of your om you can do another two Thank you so much. Yes, we're going to ask those questions.